Hello, I'm Carolyn Sheridan, Clinical Director of AgriSafe Network. Welcome to the Vermont training. I'm so sorry I can't be there. Um, I've been there for a couple of years, and this year you've got a couple of great people taking over for my presentation. They'll be working with Jean and Gail. So for today, I'd just like to say welcome, and I want to tell you just a little bit about AgriSafe Network, as well as show you um, my clinic here at Spencer Hospital. That's where I am right now. I'm sitting in our lobby at Spencer Hospital, where we've had an AgriSafe clinic since 1990. I took this training in 1990 with Kelly Dunham, and he's sitting there in the room with you, and he'll tell you a little bit more about the inception of AgriSafe Network. So um, it's a very important program and something that we really, of course, promote. Um, living in an agricultural community, and I know Vermont is agriculture as well, it's important that we give you the resources and the information and education that you need to meet the needs of that piece of the community where you live and work and where many times your families are also interacting with the agricultural community. So I took my training in 1990, as I said before, and um, since then I began to work with Kelly and his group, and I've been doing training not only in Iowa but across the nation. So for today, we're going to head down to my AgriSafe clinic, and um, I'm going to show you a little bit about what we have here, and also give you some suggestions about what maybe you can do when you go home and you begin to use the information and education you're learning this week. I'm standing here right outside our AgriSafe clinic here at Spencer Hospital. Come on in. I want to show you some of the things that we have here. As you start to look around, you can see that we are a, a small location, but we really have a lot of things for the agricultural community. And what we've also found is that lots of other people in the community like to utilize some of our services as well as some of our product. We have a lot of personal protective equipment from either hats, which can be SunSafe hats, and we have hearing protection, and we have a nice variety of SunSafe shirts. And um, those are some things that Gail and Jean are going to show you um, in your training today. We also have things like masks, personal protective equipment for chemical safety, and of course safety glasses. So the idea is to have a wide selection of choices. As I've worked with the agricultural community since 1990, what I have found is that they really like to have a variety of things to choose from. So what you're getting today in your education and, and throughout your week, and I know you've had some uh, different type of training as well as it's been on the web, and what they like is that you understand their risks, you understand what agriculture is all about, and then you provide them some choices and some resources about what they can do to protect themselves. So prevention is a big thing, and, and it, we, we rely on stuff. We don't want to be known for our stuff, but we do need to understand the stuff that they need in order to be able to, be pre to prevent themselves from injuries and chronic debilitating illnesses, which you've learned a lot about in this training. One of the things that tends to be confusing for the producer and the agricultural worker, as well as the healthcare provider, is respiratory protection. So we're going to provide you with a resource. It's the Agricultural Respirator Selection Guide. And Gail will be going over that with you, and you'll also use that in the case studies at the end of your week. We also have a respiratory protection board that's very popular. And AgriSafe Network has what you need on the website in order for you to make your own respiratory protection board. As you can see, we have a lot of choices with information right underneath that particular mask so people can shop for what they want. We also are recommending that people understand um, pesticide and their exposures, and so one of the things that will be available to you online, or, or sometimes Jean has these right there at the training, is the recognition and management of pesticide poisonings. And AgriSafe Network does um, recommend that you have that and get, gain a good understanding of how you can protect the population, recognize and treat and diagnose when someone is exposed to pesticides. Also, um, you'll be given a packet of information about AgriSafe Network, and it explains to you about membership. It explains to you what AgriSafe can do for you, AgriSafe Network can do for you as a resource. So what I'd like to encourage you to do is to think about what you can do when you go home from this training. What can I do to add agricultural health and safety into my current practices? Not only becoming a resource, but looking around you, figuring out who you can network with, what you can do to provide this community with the things that they need for prevention. So once again, I'm Carolyn Sheridan, Clinical Director of AgriSafe Network, 
and it would be great to get to know you personally, but my information, contact information, is there on the PowerPoints, and I know Gail and Jean will do a great job of helping you understand what you can do when you go back home to your local community. Have a great training.